Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Let's Build. That is right, we are back. I'm sorry for that one week of not putting an episode. Uh, I just didn't feel up for it and I didn't want to make you guys a crappy video, so I decided to hold off on it until I get back in the mood for it, and today I am in the mood. I want to get some stuff done, and hopefully we can get a lot done, um, but I got a couple comments for you guys, so let me put on the first scold. This first one is by a fellow named Nope Name. And actually, he has a really cool channel. I've seen a few of his things, and you guys should check it out. I'll have a description, or I'll have the link to it in the description. Lots of redstone, command block, magic stuff. To be honest, he's probably a lot better than I am. But uh, let's go ahead and check out what he said. Why not use the spells to change the size of the slimes? Yes! I like this idea. Um, I had an idea to to make the slimes kind of form together and then get larger and then if you smack them they'll get smaller but um i have a better idea now that nope name has mentioned this how about instead of that we use this special spell to basically alter all of the mobs around them uh, so, for instance, let's say that there's a, a skeleton. So this skeleton will change from a regular skeleton into a wither skeleton. And let's say we have a zombie. So it will cycle through a baby zombie, through a baby villager, to a regular zombie, to a, re to a zombie villager. And then let's say we have... Um, what a, what's another one? Oh, the slimes, of course. So we got the small slime, larger, larger, biggest, and then small again. So it will kind of cycle through, you know, go through the different things and phases that every mob can do. So we won't do it to all of them, though. We'll do it to specific ones in, in like a, like a radius from the player, I suppose. That, that will probably be best. I, I really like this idea. It should be quite fun. Um... Oh, and then that would mean like we can have pigmen that are aggro, and then if you click on the spell, it will make them not aggro. So yeah, I like that. So thank you, Nope Name. Our next one is from MindBlocks003, who says, Make some no AI bat looking in a direction, and if you go close to it, you ride it and fly in a specific direction. I like this as well, and it actually allows us to do a cool puzzle. Um, he didn't have a Minecraft in-game name, um, so MindBlocks003, if you do have a Minecraft account, let me know in the comments and I will add it in instead of this generic one that's here, but, um, but yeah, I really like the idea. It actually allows us to do some sort of puzzles that, let's say, like, there's a bunch of bats flying back and forth, and then we can right click and we can right click to the next one right click to the next one right click to the next one and so on and so forth and the way that we'll do it is we'll either just have like pigs or or um what do you call it or horses that we can hop on their backs while they're floating around there so that should be cool um i was trying to make the slime thing work during a live stream i started i i did it for like i don't know maybe 20 minutes but uh yeah that thing is giving me some trouble so i'm definitely gonna go with what nope name said about the the slime sizes go ahead and put these in here now i actually i might need to change this i might need to go with the head and then the book down because i realized if one person has more than one idea that i really enjoy or i think would be really useful um i'd I can't really just put their skull again and then a book. So instead I'm going to put their skull at the top and then all of the books underneath. Right? I think that'll be right. That, that, that should be fine. That should be fine. Um, but of course that also means that you are limited. Because I do not want to put your head in another chest. You can only do five things. So let's say 
that big tiger gun decides to come up with amazing ideas, I'm only going to put up to five. If he has a better idea after that, then I'm going to be like, hey, well, sorry, dude, you already had five ideas. That's it. <laughs> but um, yeah, these are the people so far. Big Tiger Gun, Epic Melon, Fired. I think it's Fired Rants. Fired. Um, nope Name and Mind Blocks 003. So all of you have some awesome ideas. I through all of the comments and you guys are brilliant. Like honestly, I could never have thought of some of the things that you come up with. Um, which makes me worried because I cannot get all of your comments. And if I wanted to, because I do, a lot of you have like really good ideas. If I wanted to get all of them, it would, I would never finish this. And um, this is supposed to be kind of like a short series that I do every once in a while. Like a, maybe like to five to ten episode. And I'm already on episode three and I haven't had much done yet. So today we're going to try and get a lot done, hopefully. So one thing that I want to do is try to get the intro. So maybe I'll start doing that right now. Okay, so I'm working on the first puzzle, which is right over here. We're going to do the simple falling down mob, switching on and off the AI puzzle. Um, just to start things off so we can get a feel of how things should, should be and how I kind of want the story to go. Um, but I am creating this little creation guy right here. This is level and uh, he basically determines what level you are. So if you see on my sidebar, I have level zero. If I set this to one, where's that at? One, he teleports here. And when he's here and we click the reset button with the die, then it will set a redstone block in his place and power in order to make the whole thing reset. Now, um, this is going to be tricky because I'm not sure if I want to do... I, well, I'm probably going to have to make it so that, that you can reset the, the entire build as well. Um, so that's going to be weird to do and might be a little hard but uh so i'm thinking what we'll do is we'll have the room at the top and then the the exact copy of how it should be at the bottom so if anything's changed up here all we do is copy and paste it up there uh, <clears throat> now this guy uh, when you also reset it's also going to give you it's going to clear out your inventory and then give you all of the materials that you need so for this particular puzzle we have that door over there and we cannot oh I totally forgot that this is not gonna get powered now um, well shoot there goes this idea unless I just do it at the top okay I had an idea to use those and I'll tell you what it is okay so uh, I'll tell you after. So I guess this will just kind of display whatever uh, the doorway is. But basically you run over here, you can't reach it so we need to have that mob. Um, on the other side of this door we have a golden pressure plate. This is the first level so he's going to walk over here. He's going to go into a room in the side and they're going to be spectating us through these glass walls. Um, and when we step on the pressure plate, it will set our level to 1. He will teleport over here. And it will um, give us the the uh, materials. Understand? Should be pretty simple to understand. And um, once it gives us the materials, I guess in this case it will be a spawn egg. And the reset control and the uh, the change control or the switcher um, so this one is supposed to be kind of like just to show you how it's gonna work and I think that reset thing is gonna be the main use probably um, there is something that I wanted to mention though a lot of you had some really cool ideas 
but they don't really fit in with what I was planning. I kind of was hoping that we make this a little bit more vanilla. Um, some things we can definitely we can definitely make it so that, for instance, the slimes are able to to plant down the uh, the slime blocks underneath them. The bats are gonna allow us to to bridge across and fly in a certain direction but for the most part I kinda want things to be vanilla so if there's a skeleton it's gonna try to kill you unless you make it pause for no AI um, and then we kinda use the vanilla tactics in order to activate it that way it's not so difficult for people to come in here and figure out how to use it or how to play it um, so for instance like uh, skeletons that or or wither skeletons are three blocks tall so if you if you there's a pressure plate somewhere and it's three blocks tall you'll use the switcher to make it go under the two block area and yeah um, that's kind of the idea hopefully it kind of clears things up a bit um, also these things they have an animation and I was thinking maybe I can take this into Photoshop and make us a little um, a, a texture pack, a resource pack, and this will kind of be the uh, the little uh, shoot. What do you call it? Well, like when the door is open, this will turn on, and we'll need another block that kind of shows you that it's off. And then when when you uh, power it, this will turn on, and then yeah, stuff like that. And uh, once we walk through here through this door. Let me just go over here. There's a car going on behind me. I hope you guys can't hear that. Um, but if you can, oh well, I'm sorry. Uh, once you walk through here, there will be a little, like, a, a gap room that will kind of reset everything. So, you know, go like this, like this. There's also a freaking train. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. So there will be, like, a room in here. It will clear out all your inventory um, when you step on the pressure plate again and it will set your level to two and so on and so forth. So that's kind of how I'm thinking and of course these puzzles are going to get bigger, they're going to get a lot harder and I do want to potentially have you guys try to build a puzzle for this. So what I'm thinking is, <sighs> okay, there's two ways we can do this. One, I can give you guys the ability to join me on a server and build a puzzle from from the mechanics that are already set. Um, but that would mean I would have to be there and I don't really have too much time so the puzzle would be small. Um, the other option would be you guys can build it on your own in your own worlds um, and then send it to me. Now the problem with that is you won't have all of the the creation and stuff like this. So I'll either have to create a download for this so that you can put it in and then and then you can um, build and do whatever you need to and then I just copy your part and put it in there. Um, but I don't know. It, it, I'm still figuring out how it's going to work. If you guys have a good idea of, of how I can make it possible for you all to support me by even building in this world, um, let me know. I don't want to just give everybody OP and then um, put them inside a, a world that I put on the server and let them go wild. That's really not what I want to do. Um, I just really need to figure out a way that I can get you guys involved in the actual build process. So let me know if that interests you and if you have an idea of how we can do it, please, please let me know. Um, but let me go ahead and do just a couple more touches so we can finish this first puzzle and I will see you all in just a second. Okay, let me go ahead and walk you guys through what I've done so far. So we have the little intro button, click here to start, here's Dr. J. He doesn't say or do anything yet, but um, he will eventually walk over here, go into a room on the side, and then um, we, as the player, 
we'll walk over here. And we get three items. We get a reset, the test subject frozen, and freeze and unfreeze. Now, what we do is we notice, okay, this door cannot be reached. Um, what we can do is place down our frozen chicken. Oh, game mode zero. Place down our frozen chicken. And um, he's going to step on here and open that door for us. Uh, but let's say, like, oh, whoops, well, we placed him over here. That's not going to do anything. Uh, we can reset. And uh, it doesn't actually kill them yet, but it gives us all the items again. Uh, so let me make it slash game mode one. Hold on one second. I guess what I should do is I should make it kill all of the the mobs named Test Subject and Test Subject Frozen. Um, whenever you reset it, right? Yeah, I think that's smart. Let me get over here really quick. Okay, black. I might use black. Okay. So basically, I'm just using a straight line for this because I made the mistake of having them right next to each other so I can't like put it down here because then if I ever want to use the color black, it would also power that one. So unfortunately, that's just how it's going to have to be for now. Um, let's put this right here. and. What was I doing? Slash kill at E whose name equals test subject. And then I'll copy this and I will kill at E whose test subject frozen. Okay, let's get back over there. So it took me. Uh, too long to make this but I mean this is a very very simple um, example of what we can do okay reset they all die actually I guess it should teleport them because then we're gonna have all of the drops huh okay whatever we'll worry about that later so game mode zero so we put the guy up here and we're like oh dang I don't want him up there kills him. Uh, we want him right there. So now I stand here, I reset, and I can walk into the next level. Pretty cool, huh? And then I guess as soon as you walk here there will be another pressure plate outside of this door that will kill all the mobs named test and test subject and all that good stuff. Um, so so far this works pretty good. <laughs> And yeah, so slash game mode one. We did we did a lot today. Um, we got this guy going. This is our level checker. This is our this is gonna be our intro line. We figured out how we're gonna be laying things out, and we kind of set up an idea of how each level is gonna go. So each level is gonna be based off of its own redstone will power a redstone will power this line of redstone whenever we go to a new um, puzzle so this will be over here and then on the next puzzle so on and so forth that's kind of the idea but um, anyway folks that's gonna be it for today I do want to say if you guys have any more ideas of how we can make this in uh, just the best map that there ever was um, I do want to say that it's going to be a short one though because I don't want to make this last too long. Oh, did I mention that they're going to be observing us through here? So we're going to have a bunch of... We're basically going to just have the um, scientists standing behind glass always. And the only real interaction with them, uh, well before the ending, will be inside the introduction room where they kind of make you feel like a human but past that you are nothing more 
than a test subject and they don't really tell you that they make it sound like you are doing the testing and they're gonna say oh good job testing those mobs for us um, please do another test in this room uh, follow us to the next room over here and we and you can do the next test for them and see if they can uh, figure it out and then you know eventually they'll start getting meaner and meaner and and then they'll start judging you and soon the player will realize oh I'm the one being tested I don't like this <laughs> so yeah that's kinda of the idea um, but anyway folks I'm gonna end it here thanks for watching everyone please leave a like if you enjoyed it let me know your awesome ideas because you guys have amazing ideas and um, yeah please leave a like subscribe and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching everyone Bye.